We're here at GSI and we'd like to demonstrate ASTM D as in David 4751, which is apparent opening size of a GIA textile. You first need the uh, specimen, you cut this coupon out. Uh, we like uh, 12 inches by 12 inches or uh, 300 millimeter by 300 millimeter. We then cut this down to size of about nine and a half inches, which uh, works well for the eight inch diameter uh, sieves. We uh, have a holder. The holder has a frame underneath it. It's very open, so it does not restrict uh, beads from migrating through. You then have to, uh, we have a um, spring holder, and we push this down. You then subsequently get a sample like this, so you can uh, remove the textile from it. So this is preparing the specimen. What we're going to do is we're going to sieve beads of, of known size through the GIA textile with a Rotap sieve shaker. So what you need to do is to have a balance. Uh, this balance needs to be verified, obviously. It's a, a 50 gram mass, so we're within tolerance. We typically use this uh, shield for this. Uh, you start from the uh, lowest bead size. So you will start low and then go high. Um, which is a, a target uh, bead for you. These beads are sieved, uh, pre-sieved before the test. Uh, you will have to pre-sieve them according to uh, table one within the standard. After you're, you're ready with your um, sieve stack, you're going to prepare, you're going to get the base value for this. You're then going to introduce 50 grams of the smallest bead into the stack and then you're going to set the stack up with a pan underneath this holder. We have the Rotap sieve shaker set up on the side here. This would be a pan, this would be a holder, this would be a pan, holder, and you see that in the auxiliary photograph. I forgot one uh, item. You're going to have to wash this material prior to putting it in the sieve holder and uh, dry it obviously and then typically use a, a static guard or some sort of static arrestor static electricity will be problematic for this okay after you assemble your uh, cross section with your replicates you load it into a uh, rotap sieve shaker i'll turn the uh uh, the balance off. This would not be done together. Obviously, this is going to be a very violent operation. Uh, you take the Rotap sieve shaker and assemble it. Please realize the Rotap sieve shaker oscillates as well as moves up and down. I'll give you a demonstration of that. So it's very violent. You do this for 10 minutes and then subsequently take the sample out and see the amount of beads that have gone from the uh, through the GIA textile into the pan. When that percent passing gets less than 5%, that's identified as your AOS or your parent opening size. And we'll show you subsequently a uh, plot for that. But uh, this is AOS ASTM D4751 dry sieving. There's also a procedure for capillary pyrometry. Uh, that procedure was not covered here. This is just the procedure A, the dry sieving technique. ASTM D4751 AOS.